My name is Sue Ayton and I'm from Wakefield Labour Party Young Socialist. Now the lobby we've held today and the rally in, the, in Castleford has been in support of nine young people who were arrested in Fitzwilliam on the 9th of July. Fitzwilliam is a pit village in uh, Yorkshire. <laughs> And the police went into the village and attacked the young people there and then from that there were nine young people arrested. They come up in court in Castleford today and we organised a lobby and a rally of the court um, to show our support and to show the support that these young people have from their communities and that the communities in Yorkshire are not going to let the police come in and try and break their spirit. solidarity with the Fitzwilliam Nine. We know it, it really means a lot to us and thank you for coming. We're going into court yeah, just now and uh, with this kind of support all the way through this strike there's no way that we're going to lose. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. On the first investigation they found the SPG had a truncheon for emergency. On the second investigation, they found the SPG had two pickaxe handles and a truncheon for emergencies. On the third investigation, they found the SPG had three metal bars, two pickaxe handles and a truncheon for emergencies. On the fourth investigation, they found the SPG had four rhino whips, three metal bars, two pickaxe handles, and a truncheon for emergencies. On the fifth investigation, they found the SPG quite blameless. A four rhino whips, three metal bars, two pickaxe handles, and a truncheon. bringing the fraternal greetings of the working class of Liverpool, standing shoulder to shoulder in solidarity, not only with the people of Fitzwilliam, but with the miners. We believe it's more important to pay more than lip service to this struggle, <coughs> to show your presence, to be involved in the struggle. And um, when I got up at six o'clock this morning, I had a bit of misgivings about whether I was doing the right thing getting out of bed. But seeing this demonstration, the massive support we've got here on the streets in, uh, in this part of the world, it's a real, I know Castleford, <laughs> it's uh, a real indication that we as a class can look after our, our own. When the full forces of the state are waged against us, we'll stand up, we will be victorious, the miners will win, and in the process, the working class will take a major step forward. Victory to the miners, forward to socialism. Comrades, I bring the greetings and support of the National Le Labour Party Young Socialists, but I feel I'm not just bringing the greetings of every uh, young socialist in the country, but I think bringing the greetings and the support and the solidarity of all young people in, in, in Britain. 
unemployed young people, young people on YTS schemes, young people in their uh, dead-end jobs. What has it meant, the struggle of the Fitzwilliam Line? It's been a tremendous example to all, to all young uh, people who, uh, like the rest of the miners in communities, have got up off their knees and are, and are fighting uh, for, for their class. We're fighting for their class like our leaders should be fighting for our, for our, our class. And fighting for their class the way the Tories and Thatcher fight for her class. I'll tell you a story because I'm not frightened to tell you uh, about this. Because I was there, uh, I was written a letter by the, uh, well, the Assistant General Secretary of the Labour Party saying that I shouldn't come here to speak today because the Labour Party doesn't support this. Well, I say I'm proud to be here. I'm proud to support the, the fight of the Fitzwilliam. Uh, <laughs>